Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, another tutorial Quarrel Draw. Today we're going to do something very simple. We want to draw a church logo or a school logo or whatever organization that you run or own or wish to own in future. But we're going to do it uh, in a very simple manner. It's going to be a simple rounded logo. So as I do this introduction, open your Quarrel Draw. So we're going uh, to design a church logo um, that is very simple but beautiful. So the first thing uh, is don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and also check out more videos to come. So uh, I guess by now you're ready, your color is up and running. So we want to draw a logo that is identical to the one that I have on the screen. So um, as you can see, this is a very simple logo. It's got a circle, a red one, a blue one and a cross and also it's got some text and a triangle like looking shape uh, so the first thing uh, is we want to draw the bigger red circle over your mouse to your um, tools bar find an ellipse tool draw the circle so now I have my bigger circle which is uh, so far uh, it doesn't have any feel but we want it in red so over your mouse to the right you see where uh, at different colors pick your red so before you uh, do anything else press p to center the circle on the page so the next thing is we want a second circle so uh take your ellipse two again draw a slightly smaller circle this time around uh, back to your uh, right pick a blue for the circle to to, to change the color uh, then p to center the circle so now we have uh, two circles uh, a red one and a blue one uh, the next thing now uh, we, we, we want the cross so there are different ways of uh, dealing with this cross but I want to use um, a rectangle too so you back to your tools bar you take a rectangle to drag and draw a very thin rectangle also before releasing that drag another rectangle that is horizontal so now you have two rectangles, a horizontal one and a vertical one. And if you move them closely, as you can see, we now have a cross. So the next thing is that you need this cross to be in red. So before I color it, I want to group the images. This is why we, uh, whenever things are grouped, if you want to move them, they move as one object. If you want to color them, if you want to change anything, it is one object so it's easier unlike coloring two objects in this case i'm just going to color one object or moving one object so drag your mouse right around the, uh, both objects as you can see you have selected both the objects you come to your colors and you change to red also before i release ctrl g to group so uh as you can see if i try to move this it moves as one object because i've grouped so for grouping you use ctrl g and grouping you use ctrl u but now our cross is a, a borderline which is black and we don't want that so over your mouse to the top just be below the menu bar where it's written 0 0.5 pt click and uh, select none so now we have our cross move it uh, to, 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 to the center of the middle or the smaller circle and now we have to draw the last object which is this uh, triangle like polygon thing so on your tools bar over and uh, find a polygon to take that polygon so as you can see our polygon is five sides but you can change the size size to any number you want can change to 10 to 11 whatever you want but in this case I want to use a five-sided polygon so I draw my polygon onto the uh, cross uh, close to the cross uh, so now I have this polygon but wait a moment try to, 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 to apply a red color on the polygon and see what happens if you color it red what happens we, we have something that looks like the, the, the cross are we looking for so but now the only challenge is that it's got an outer line which is in black so back to below your menu bar remove the outer line 
so as you can see we have a perfect shape that looks exactly like this so the last thing now is we need our text so pick your text two from the tools bar over and you, you get your a that's your text two so uh, give your organization or church or whatever the name so in this case my church is called uh, geekish temple of uh, all believers who called that's the name of my church uh, so as you can see our text is so small so we need first things first we need to change the font type we need to change the font size font color and everything so uh over your mouse just below the menu bar you see where it is where it is written Arial. you change that font type uh, to whatever your desired font is then also besides that there is a uh, where it is written a 24 pt or whatever size pt it is change that also to uh, like in this case i'm changing mine to 72 which is rather too big so i can manually type that and put uh, let's say 16. so i now have my text but i need it in blue so color your text blue so now the most important part of this tutorial select your text we now want it to curve around our circle so select the text over to the menu bar and find where it is written text click there then on the drop down choose fit text to path so as you can see as you fit your text to path it then follows the shape of, the, of our circle so you click and release so we now have a temple of uh, Kikish temple of all believers then the last text uh, our motto which is uh, we leave we leave we love change the font type and the font size and also the color to blue drag your font inside this, uh, the red circle so as you can see ladies and gentlemen we have exactly the same logo that we wanted so thank you for viewing this don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to share share the video with everyone you know all your contacts otherwise for now it's a bye bye cheers